have you ever wondered how the highest point on Earth, Mount Everest, came into being? Well, the story of its creation is as fascinating as the mountain itself. Around 50 million years ago, the Indian tectonic plate, moving at a snail's pace, began a collision course with the Eurasian plate. This monumental clash didn't happen overnight. In fact, it took millions of years. This slow, grinding collision caused the seafloor to crumple, and from these crumpled folds, the Himalayas emerged, like a phoenix from the ashes. But the story doesn't end there. Over countless millennia, a combination of uplift from deep within the earth and erosion from wind and water worked in tandem to sculpt these mountains into the majestic peaks we see today, one of which is the mighty Everest. So, what we see as Mount Everest today is the result of millions of years of geological activity, a testament to the powerful forces beneath our feet. But what makes Everest such a formidable challenge, even for the most seasoned climbers? The answer, in part, lies in the thin air of high altitudes. Imagine being at an elevation where the air is so thin that less oxygen is available to your body. This is the reality at Everest's peak, and it can lead to a condition known as hypoxia, a state of reduced oxygen supply to the body or a region of the body. Hypoxia is the culprit behind altitude sickness, a condition that can strike without warning and exhibit symptoms such as dizziness, nausea, headaches, fatigue, and in severe cases, it can be life-threatening. The body quite literally struggles to survive in an environment it was not designed for. Despite the risks, the allure of conquering the highest peak on Earth draws adventurers from around the world. But remember, the journey to the top is not just a physical challenge, but a battle against the very forces of nature. So, what have we learned about the majestic Mount Everest? We've delved into the geological history of this formidable peak, understanding its formation through the movement of tectonic plates. The relentless collision of the Indian and Eurasian plates millions of years ago gave birth to the Himalayas, with Mount Everest standing as the crown jewel, reaching skyward at an astounding 29,000 feet. We've also explored the physiological effects of high altitude on our bodies. As we ascend, oxygen becomes scarce, leading to altitude sickness, a potentially lethal condition even for the fittest climbers. Our bodies must adapt to overcome this harsh environment, a process that pushes us to our limits. We've discovered that Mount Everest, despite its deadly challenges, continues to beckon adventurers, each year drawing in those who dare to reach its summit. It remains a symbol of human resilience and the spirit of exploration. Mount Everest, a marvel of nature's creation and a testament to human endurance, continues to stand tall, challenging and enticing us, a symbol of the ultimate adventure.